Throughout the last 20 years, I've led excavation projects, especially around Jerusalem and in Judah, trying to understand the history of the Kingdom of Judah and then the province of Judah in the period when it was under the rule of the big empires. Jerusalem is the roots of the Jewish people. All the biblical history is around Jerusalem, so to excavate there is to actually finding our roots. One of the problems in archaeology is that we never know where to excavate. Like many other sites, the ancient city of David was on the top of the hill. The city was up there, but the water was down there. There were probably tunnels leading from up the city to the water. There is no way to discover these tunnels. There is no way to understand the underground of Jerusalem when we don't know where to excavate and how to find it. Together with our colleagues from the Department of Physics and using receptors of cosmic ray and muons, we put the detectors around the city of David and then we can get a 3D pictures of all the underground area below the city of David. Already now, we started to discover all kinds of channels and tunnels below the city of David and it's only the beginning of this project. So this is a real revolution in archaeology. This is a real revolution that we can understand what's going on below the ground even without excavating it. The amount of information that we can get today from every bucket that we excavate, from every square that we excavate, is unbelievable. We can know what was the climate in ancient times. We know what people ate in ancient times. What was the source of every piece of clay? What were the liquids in every vessel that we excavate? And we know what was stored in every vessel that we excavate. We can have a DNA of animals and human beings, know what was the origin where people came from. This project is a great example for how important can humanities be in this kind of interdisciplinary project between hard sciences, social sciences. We are going to the field with many experts and all these experts are playing different instruments, a big philharmonic orchestra. I think that the cooperation between the two sides, you know, these people from the sciences and we are from the humanities, I think that this cooperation is contributing to both sides because we can use these technologies to make archaeology better, but we also push the people from the physics to develop more machines, to think about other questions. We can be the trigger that will take all these different sciences to answer complicated questions, to bring, you know, great discoveries.